Kobe. My dog's gonna be in the background of this entire video, most likely. Everyone say hello to Sarah. He's my doggy and he never shuts up. No, he do not. He do not shut up at all. No, he don't. He don't. So today I was thinking about how I get to go to the uh, Oddities Expo next month. And I went to the one that came to Atlanta back in 2019. So I figured today, why not go through it and show you guys what all I have so far. Just a disclaimer that I am a beginner hobbyist. So my collection is not very big. Here is my oddity or, you know, just my shelf in all of its glory over here and we'll start at this end we'll go from left to right so over here it's not really an oddity i've just got a, a backpack with skulls on it i just got that at walmart because i thought it was pretty if you go down here i've got a couple of buttons this button i actually did get at the uh oddities expo back in 2019 and then the other two buttons are just you know a couple of little buttons that I got from Vampire Freaks, which is an online goth store. If you come over here, you'll see one of my very first oddities that I ever got to buy myself. Fortunately, one of the little fingers has fallen off there, as you can see. This is basically a preserved chicken foot keychain. It's got a little pinnacle right there, which I am a huge fan of. Come over here, I just got a little Mr. Meeseeks keychain, because he's my favorite alien from Rick and Morty. My friend gave me that. This is a storm glass, so back in like sailor days, sailors used to use these things to predict the weather. They thought that the crystallization forms of the crystals inside predicted the weather, but it actually just responds to the temperature outside. And you're actually not supposed to handle this very much. So I'll put that back on its little thing. See there's a Day of the Dead candle there, and I've got not really a matching one, but I've got a second one right here. I'll just put in front of that one so we can view everything. Got uh, my largest wet specimen and it's a cat uh, just in case you can't read there. Uh, it's an orange tabby and obviously still a kitten or else it'd be a lot bigger and you can see like part of an eye there you can see that uh, it's got its mouth open its little paw right next to its face you know it's just one of my favorite specimens just because it's so large you can see it better if i turn it that way there you go yeah you can see the face and everything better if i turn it that way okay going away from that next to it we have another kitten which i'll just move over here just to get it out of the sun and easier to see the liquid inside it is yellow i could do with uh, changing that oopsie this was actually the very first thing that I went and bought at the Atlanta Oddities Expo back in 2019. The first booth I went to, it was Forgotten Boneyard, I believe, was selling uh, these fetal kittens. So I picked that one first. I just felt so attached to it. And then later I came back just because it was so tiny. It was so interesting. I'm so fascinated by stuff like that. Like, look at that. It almost looks like a tiny little human embryo if you look at it from the right angle. <laughs> Those were one of the first things I got from Forgotten Boneyard. Uh, back here, we get the puppies. According to the seller they came from, they're actually from the same litter. This one was just preserved via diaphanization, which means, you know, you render the skin translucent so you can see the uh, bones inside and the cartilage. And this one is just a wet specimen puppy. As you can see, you can see its tongue sticking out right there. You can see its little feet. If you go down, you can see its other little feet and its little umbilical cord sticking out. There they are, the little boys. I have a diaphanized rat, actually. Over here I have a megalodon tooth. And I know what you're thinking, aren't they like super huge? Come on, I mean it's a megalodon. Well, from what I gathered, this actually came from a juvenile megalodon. Uh, the tooth itself is only about an inch and a half long, so that means that this shark would have been about 11 feet long. Not a terribly huge shark. Still a cool shark tooth though. I love sharks. I want to collect all their teeth. Over here, we've got a preserved snake with a glow-in-the-dark base. So this actually glows very bright in the dark and it sits right in front of the window. So, you know, it gets a good charge. Over here, we've got uh, something my brother gave to me for Christmas. It's a uh, scorpion friendship necklaces, but I have no friends. So they're, they're kept together. If you go over here, you'll see some wet specimen bugs. I'm not exactly sure what kind they are, but I really like that one. It's really pretty, super rainbowy and shiny. And then this one, some sort of beetle. I don't know which kind, but I mean, 
I don't judge. You're welcome here, buddy. And over here is my cat skull, one of my favorite items just because I love skulls and bones. I'm surprised I don't have more of them, honestly, as much as I love them. But nope, I've got more wets. And then that kind of ends the actual oddities tour. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse over here to a couple of things. These are things my friend got me. This is an ornament, but I just like it as regular decor. It reminds me of Edgar Allan Poe, obviously. This is a little stuffed animal my friend got me. I named her Kuki, and uh, she's really weird. She just hangs out here on top of my uh, record player. My coworker gave me a cat collar for Christmas, but I don't have a cat and I couldn't really wear it as a bracelet, so I just gave it to Kuki. So that's her collar now. This is a little hamster named Anna. She's not odd at all. Uh, my friend just gave her to me, so I want to keep her safe. She needs a buddy, so her and Kuki are friends. And then last but not least, I have these little vials. Uh, one says full moon magic. One is a uh, witch's grade bat wings. And this one is kind of funny because it says rapid rats. And we think it was supposed to say rabid rats, but rapid rats is kind of funnier. Like what, it, like what happens? Do you just like throw this on the ground and then a bunch of rats just come running at you? I don't know. But anyway, I still like it. My bat wings, my rapid rats, and my full moon magic. Back there I have a first edition Love It to Death a vinyl record by Alice Cooper. You can tell it's first edition because they didn't censor his thumb. People hated that. One last look at my oddity shelf. And that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little collection. I have more video ideas coming soon, so hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.